everybody. Thanks for tuning in. It looks like breakfast is in store this morning for the Eats family. We're all locked in here together like everybody else in the country. We're getting stir crazy. I don't know if we all hate each other or if we're just hungry. So I want to start with the hungry part and hope everybody still loves me. So stick around. I'm going to throw together some omelet, some French toast, some sausage, some bacon. We're going to do breakfast right, right here at home. So stick around. I'll show you how it's done. So we're going to start off with Abby's meal. She's the one that wants the French toast, bacon, and sausage. So it's going to be real easy to get her going. I'm going to start off with some thick cut hickory country bacon. Yeah, I'm going to cook it all. Of course, that's going to put off a really good grease to cook everything else. So we'll get the bacon going, and then we'll start with the sausage and the French toast. So stick around. Go ahead and flip the bacon. I like to get them a little bit crispy. I don't want them to disintegrate in my mouth, but a little crispy is always good. I think one more flip and the bacon is ready to roll. Some of it's a little bit crispier than others because I have a hot spot more over here. As you can see how crispy that looks. But it don't take long to make bacon. So. All right, bacon is ready to rock. Take this off of here. Save some of that bacon fat grease. That's always good for breakfast. Put it on here. Ooh -wee. Gotta love some bacon fat. All right, so now for the sausage. One good patty. Throw it right there. And I have three farm fresh eggs that I beat up and I'm going to dip some bread in it make some French toast then Abby Crabby Abby as I call her because she's my picky eater she'll love it so dip it in like that throw it down pretty simple stuff can't screw up French toast unless you burn it which I could probably do that if I really tried. Boom. Just like so. Alright, it don't take long folks. Let's flip this egg. Not the egg, but the French toast with egg on it. That little brown crisp. That's how I like it. Let's just give that a flip. Just about ready. A couple minutes on this side and breakfast is served for Abigail. All right, so as we can see, French toast looks good on both sides. Go ahead and pile it up like that. Give that another flip just for a couple seconds. Throw on a couple slices of bacon. Give that a little crisp on the outside real fast. And voila, breakfast for Abby. Now, I got a question. Should I, should that make her happy Abby or crabby Abby? I mean, I hope it's happy Abby. I mean, for goodness, goodness sake, it's breakfast, it's French toast, right? Put a comment down below, crabby Abby or happy Abby? I'd like to hear what you think. All right, so now for the final and the best part of breakfast be the omelet stick around we'll get that going all right so i kind of ran out of bacon grease fat whatever on abby's meal so i'm going to throw a little bit of olive oil down i'm going to cook these uh chunks of meat and some veggies that i have ready for the for the omelet what i have here is some green pepper some mushroom some indui sausage and this is chunks of brisket that i smoked on the smoker last night um, basically when you smoke a corned beef brisket, it turns it into pastrami. So basically I have some chunks of pastrami. I'm going to cook all them up on here. 
get them going real good. And then we're gonna put that inside of our omelet. This is gonna be a big omelet. We and Olivia are gonna split it up. So it's gonna look like one big, huge omelet, but it's gonna, it's gonna feed a couple people. I also have a couple of these sausage patties I'm gonna put on there as well. All right, make sure you stir things up. Don't let it burn. I'm lacking some uh, vegetables. Normally I would have some onion, some zucchini, but with this uh, social distancing, distancing thing, I've kind of been staying home. I haven't been getting out to get my groceries quite like I want to. So I work tomorrow night. I guess I can stop and grab a few more things. But this will do for today. We'll make it work. We got lots of stuff on here anyhow. So, all right. So I got my meat and veggies where I want it. Gonna scoop it up, put it in here. Throw some egg down, and we're gonna cook the star of the show, the big old omelet. All right, so got that picked up. Now uh, I'm gonna pick up these sausages. I think they're about about ready. Stick them on there. Now, just for good measures, I'm gonna throw a little bit more olive oil down so my egg don't stick. Spread it around real good. I got about five or six eggs, farm fresh eggs, cracked and broken in here. We're gonna put them together just like this. Make two omelets out of this. Let's try to keep all this somewhat close. It won't take long. Yeah, like that. up a little bit when it's hot it cooks quick I tell you what just like that now while that's going throw on your goodies they are hot it's gonna be a stacked omelet I tell you what Stacked. All right, remember that bacon I cooked? I got it right here. Pile it on. Everybody loves bacon. Just like that. Of course, don't forget. Plenty of cheese. Have to use two spatulas to fold this thing. Just kind of give it a roll, just like that. Bring it out here. Tell me that ain't a monster. Now, top it off. We love cheese in this house, so I got some white American cheese and I got some yellow American cheese. Just to make it look pretty, do it like this. Just like so. So we'll give it a minute to melt up and we'll cut it in half and we'll skip it up. All right, so we got to melt it up. I'm gonna cut this in half like that there's one omelet with a sausage patty for Miss Olivia and one omelet sausage patty for Jimmy Eats. Well that looks like a good breakfast. 
All right, so another good look at the omelet. Got a little bit of everything in there when it comes to meat. You know, it's just basic. Yeah, I'm using my little fork still. So let's take a little bite of the omelet. Farm fresh eggs, totally tell the difference. I can tell the difference. I don't know about you guys, but tell me what you think of fresh farm fresh eggs. I don't know why you wouldn't love that. Perfect way to start off my day. I'm sure the kids will be happy. Hopefully it'll put them in a better mood. I'm really hoping so because we're locked in here for who knows how long. So need all the help we can get just like everybody else at home. So a couple more things I want to hit on before I end the video. If you haven't noticed, I haven't had a really good chance to look at my vid, my, my shirt. But uh, I did get some new t-shirts. Kind of cool, new little style. I like them. I got some kind of an orange color. And then I also have them. I have some in black as well. Same thing. Cooking and chilling with Jimmy Eats. And on the bottom it says, right here it says, hashtag eat your heart out. Big old burger. I love it. I think it's a pretty cool idea. Something different. Thought I'd mix it up a little bit. Um, I might do a bunch of giveaways, give some out here and there for giveaways. So stay tuned on my channel. Uh, listen for giveaways. I, I like that everybody watches me and supports my channel. I really love it. Thank you guys for, for watching. I appreciate it. Um, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Now is a great time to smash that subscribe button. Hit that. Hit the notification so you know when I'm doing some more stuff. You know, give me some likes. Hey, everybody likes some likes. And of course, by all means, give me some feedback. Tell me what you think of these new t-shirts. Tell me what you think of some giveaway. Uh, give me some more ideas for things to cook. Uh, you know, feedback is always a bonus on my channel. So I try to read every single one and I reply to every single one. If I missed you here or there, I really apologize, but I, I will get to it, I promise. So I tell you what, I like to babble and I like to eat. So Bean's breakfast is getting cold just standing here looking at it. I'm Jimmy Eats and that's just what I'm going to do everybody. I'm going to eat. Thanks. Have a great day.